my name is Amélie Notombe. I come from Belgium. I'm a writer. I write uh, fiction novels. Uh, I came here because uh, I have a huge problem of uh, hating myself and for so many years and I w wanted to quit that. So um, I think the main reason why I uh, hate or hated myself uh, was that uh, my, my family uh, used to tell me on several ways that uh, I was ugly, uh, intelligent but ugly. So um, I felt very bad because of that. And uh, um, even what happened being successful in writing couldn't cure that because uh, still feeling ugly, still seeing an ugly, an ugly person in the mirrors, that's very painful. So finally I got a voice in me telling me always hateful things, not only ugly, but you are not only ugly, you are bad. Because you know, when you see an ugly person, finally you think he, that's a bad person, that that person deserves to be ugly, so she's bad, she's mean, she's... Um, She's useless, she, uh, she harms everybody. So I was really fed up with that and I arrived here. And uh, I had uh, ayahuasca ceremonies for the very first time. At the beginning it was uh, interesting. There was sometimes a, a voice telling me, uh, come on, you're not so bad uh, with right things. But the fourth ceremony was really uh, an event. Uh, at that ceremony, uh, Mother Ayahuasca uh, took me in her arms, uh, told me that I was her beloved child and gave me such a love, a love that I could never imagine would exist. And I, I could have the deep feeling of that love for about two hours. Uh, I, I, I cannot describe that feeling. She was holding me in her arms in the air and in, in my whole body I felt that so powerful love which has nothing to do with human love, you know, it's re really the love of a goddess. And sh she was keeping telling me, you're just my beloved child and I love you and uh, I could see how powerful she was. So to feel love from such a powerful goddess, of course this is... Uh, this was wonderful for my uh, self-esteem because I know that she, she, she doesn't lie. If she, if she tells me that she loves me, it, it's true. So there's something to love in me. Um, at that moment, I asked her, please, can you cure me with my, uh, with my diseases in order to be in good shape? She says, yes, let me watch through you. So she watched th through my whole body. And she told, uh, there's somebody, something in your chest which is not good. Uh, yes, I said, I know I'm always very fragile from the chest. And since I was a baby, I, I have tuberculosis in me. Can you please cure, cure me? She says, okay, do you accept uh, surgery? Of course. So she dived into me. It took uh, quite a long time. But I, I had the feeling that really she was curing me. And the shamans were watching, the maestros were watching what she was doing, talking in Shipibo, but I had the feeling I could understand what they were telling. They don't know tuberculosis because in South America, I guess it's unknown. But they were telling, ah, we never saw that. Is it dangerous? Can, can we cure her, her from this? Let's try. So they cured from me from tuberculosis. So. As I received such a good care and such a great love, of course, my, <laughs> my self-esteem is much better now. Thank you, ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a real medicine. Of course, it's very difficult to swallow it, but when you, are, when you swallow it, one hour later, you become able to see things that you couldn't see an, in another way. Uh, spirits exist you can see them, really. Not only see them, you can feel them. They touch you. So this is not a dream. It's not about taking drugs. I took drugs. I know about drugs. It's totally different. 
uh, drugs can be uh, tricky, can be uh, just uh, illusion. This is not an illusion. You, you feel it. It's a real spirit that talks to you very gently. Well, of course, strongly, but gently. Uh, <laughs> maybe it seems crazy to tell, but when I had the feeling, when, when Ayahuasca was holding me in her arms for two hours, giving me this huge feeling to my whole body, it was really not an illusion. I could see her. She's a beautiful dancer. I could see her. I could touch her. She could touch me. It's, it's just real. It's, it's real. Temple of the Way of Light is the best place to meet the spirits and the goddess.